Well, hi everybody, it's Jen Lee with The Key, and I just wanted to come on today with a short video and just say praise the Lord. I just feel like celebrating because of the fall of Roe versus Wade. And if you really understand, if we had any clue about the damage that has been done to women and to children and even to fathers, we would really be rejoicing today as believers all over the world. I pray that we are. But I wanted to just get on and read a little scripture to you and just pray with you quickly and just give the Lord all of the praise and all of the honor for what has just happened. And one quick testimony. I planned a worship and prayer night at my house and I planned it over a month ago and I planned it for tonight not having any idea that this decision was going to come down today by the Supreme Court. And it just is so amazing to me, the timing of God, the way that he lines things up, because now this is a night of celebration and also intercession for America as people are threatening to riot and do some things over the weekend. So we're just going to pray against witchcraft, against any sort of um, occult activity because a lot of the violence and the things that come from these things it's really brought on through the powers of witchcraft there's things going on behind the scenes and you know how we pray for things to happen we pray for protection and things for our families well people in the occult they're praying forth disaster for people they're praying forth violence you know I hate to call it pray but I'm using that as an example but so that's what we're going to be doing tonight is actually gathering to just praise the Lord and worship him and thank him and intercede for our country. So it was just so neat that I happened to plan that for tonight, not having any idea that this decision would come out. And, you know, also I was very tempted to cancel it because I'm leaving town tomorrow on a ministry trip and it's a big deal. I have a lot to prepare and I just thought, you know, I was so tempted to just say that it's too busy. It's too busy of a time. But um, I just felt in my spirit I wasn't supposed to, to cancel it. And then this came, this happened this morning. So God is so good. I'm going to leave you with a little scripture and then we're going to pray. So Psalm 75 talks about, um, it's called Thanksgiving for God's righteous judgment. And I'm just going to read you a few verses. This is 7 through 10. But God is the judge. He puts down one and exalts another. For in the hand of the Lord there is a cup and the wine is red. It's fully mixed and he pours it out. Surely its dregs shall all the wicked of the earth drain shall drain and drink down. But I will declare forever, I will sing praises to the God of Jacob. All the horns of the wicked I will also cut off, but the horns of the righteous shall be exalted. So I believe where right now in America, we are seeing the Lord step forward as the righteous judge. So just pray with me now. Lord, we thank you. We praise you, God. We praise you, Lord, for this news that has come forth today. Father, we thank you for protection over America. We thank you for just casting down all of the enemy's plans. Lord, it's been said that while the enemy is playing some simple game, maybe he's playing checkers or something even simpler than that, but Lord, you are playing chess. So Lord, you are always not just one step, but many steps ahead of him. So we thank you, Lord, for protecting our nation tonight. Lord, I pray for wisdom for people who do have churches, who do have um, pro-life centers, places that um, protect and help women and children and women in need and pregnant women. Um, give them wisdom, Lord, on how to protect their their places tonight, Lord. And I just pray for everything to get in the way of these people. Lord, make them so tired they just want to go to sleep and they don't want to go out and cause trouble. <laughs> make them stay home because they just suddenly lose the desire to, to go out and do these things, Lord. So just get in their way in the name of Jesus. So I thank you for causing your people to rise up tonight and pray and praise you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for saving the lives of babies, Lord, and really saving the lives of women and men as well. Lord, as we were never meant, we were never meant to take the lives of our own children. Thank you, God, for this mighty move that we are living to see. We give you thanks and praise in Jesus' mighty, mighty name. Amen. All right.
right, you guys, thanks for joining me. I will see you guys in a few days. I'm gonna be on the road a lot, so I'm gonna try to shoot a video or two while I'm gone, but um, I have a feeling there's gonna be some interesting thing, <laughs> things happening on the road, interesting in a good way. So I might um, try to make a couple of videos, at least from the hotel, and just kind of fill you in and give you some God stories, give you some testimonies, because he really is moving so much right now. It's amazing. It's like you look to the left, there he is. You look to the right, there he is. He is moving. So let's move with him in the name of Jesus. All right. Amen. Bless you guys.